Okay guys, time for uh, another uh, fight video of who would win, and uh, yeah, it's another team fight pitting Big Hero 6 against Sinister 6. And I know what you're thinking, but Zilla, Big Hero 6 is technically a Marvel property. Well, I'm going by the uh, Disney reimagine re of it, so I guess it kind of falls under its own thing? I don't know. Freaking mul just multiverse it. Whatever. Anyway. So, uh, Big Hero 6 versus the Sinister 6. How would that play out? Now, this isn't going to be like the, the previous fight I talked about with the rogues and having that, oh, they'll, you know, the rogues will hold back because they have this no, kill, uh, no killing kids rule. That doesn't apply to the Sinister 6. These guys go all out. And also, for those wondering the iterate of what iteration I'm using of the Sinister 6 for this scenario, it is going to be the original 6. Ock, Vulture, Mysterio, Electro, Sandman, and Craven. So yeah, we're going with the original Sinister Six lineup here. So this team would this is a team that has been best known to take on Spider-Man, but there was a point in the Sinister Six career where they were managing to take on the Avengers. They were um, they were essentially t yeah taking on the Avengers, the Young Avengers. The entire Marvel universe at one point was at the mercy of the Sinister Six. There was also a point where they actually took on the Intelligentia, which was like a evil Illuminati-type group which had MODOK, the leader, uh, the Red Ghost, and I feel like I'm forgetting somebody else, but yeah. Um, these, this is a very cohesive villain team. While they do really do hate each other, and they especially hate Ock the most, when it comes to a when it comes to fighting, however, they have this collective consensus of I don't want to go to jail, so I'm going to listen to to Doctor Octopus and take on the opponent. So yeah, we've got six on six combat here. So of course, um, we do you know we do, we have uh, for Big Hero Six we got Hero, Baymax, Wasabi, Gogo, -Go, Fred, and Honey Lemon. So, we all know, so this is how I kind of imagine it would go down. Now, the big thing is, is that they haven't really, the Big Hero 6, well, they are still a team, and they've ta and they managed to work at cohesively as a team, they haven't really taken on someone, like a group, that is like them. They haven't really taken on, like, a group, you know, they've usually taken on, when they take on villains, it's usually one or two at most. Like, it's usually a duo, maybe a trio at most with their rogues gallery. There isn't really, like, a big villain 6. Although I've got a pretty good feeling that season two is probably going to be Big Villain Six. I've got a, I've got a pretty good feeling that Big Hero, a Big Villain Six is going to be the next big thing for Big Hero Six. Anywho, so they haven't really up until this point taken on someone who a group of villains who not only have some major battle experience against metahumans, but also a team that works cohesively. And yeah. While not all of the team, uh, while not all of the members are metahumans, technically speaking, it, Sandman and Electro are the only real metahumans. Although you could put Craven in there because he does take experimental, well, not experimental. He takes like special herbs and what have you to increase his strength, speed, and agility. So, but really, the only two true metahumans are Electro and Sandman in the team. But that's not to discredit all of the t all of the team members. You've got, of course, Doctor Octopus, a one of the most intelligent supervillains out there, with four uh, tentacles that are some that have little bits and pieces of adamantium inside of them. You've got the Vulture, whose suit allows him to fly at Mach three and increases his strength, speed, and agility. Uh, Mysterio, master of illusions, a dude who tri in one alternate universe tricked Wolverine into killing the entire X Men, uh, and Craven, you know, Cra uh, Craven, um, master hunter, strategist dangerous dude, and Sandman, who's literally a fucking sandstorm. Anyway, so it's safe, it's safe to say that the the Big Hero 6 hasn't really taken on anyone like the Sinister 6 before. Now, the way I see it is that these guys, I think Ock would try to do the divide and conquer, because I think he would realize, like, real quick that, oh, these guys um, fight as a cohesive team. It's where they, their strength is. Well, my team works best not only as a group, but also separately. We work as a separate team. Uh, we work as great solo acts, so it would probably be like his first move would be divide and conquer. That would be Octavius' first move. Octa I think Otto, you know, Ock would try to, would try to psych out Hero, 
multiple times. I think he would definitely play the Obake route, but not like try to get him on his side. He'd be more like, I am going to play against this kid because he's still like a kid. He's While he's a genius, he's still a kid. He's still naive and headstrong. So I am going to play that against him and make him, you know, play on my level. I am going to um, play the game because Obake hold, held back because he was a kid. Because he was a kid, he wanted him on his side. I don't, I don't play that route. So yeah, I am going to make sure I am going to hurt this kid any way I can. And he's going to realize, hey, this guy doesn't really have any powers. He depends on the big robot to. Uh, you know, to do all the work. So this is even better. The other thing is, like, you're going to look at a Electro, who could easily just... Electro could just snap his fingers and cut off the power to all of their suits. Like, even drain... He could even drain Baymax of all of his pow of his battery life. He could literally just suck it out and shoot it back at the rest of them. That, a lot of people seem to forget how powerful Max Dillon is as a character. Like, he could just snap his fingers at, at one point and just their suits would be out of power. That's it. High voltage? Oh yeah, I'll show you real high voltage. Snap. Um, and then you have Craven, who would probably go after Fred. Um, I think he would go Craven, not so much the level of Craven's last hunt, but definitely he would be playing a game with him. He would definitely be like using all the traps. Now, it's not to say that the Sinister Six wouldn't, um, you know, be without their flaws. Remember, they these guys get really arrogant. They also don't like each other a lot. They really really don't like each other a lot, so there might be some confusion among the team, but, and you gotta remember, Ock usually gets the final say, because Ock thinks is not only he's the self proclaimed leader of the team, but he is also, you know, he gets the final say. The other, you know, the other five guys are just there to kill, you know, to kill whoever and do his, up. he considers them more like underlings than actual colleagues, really. It's not like with the Big Hero, with Big Hero 6, who work as a very, um, you know, they're all together. They're all working as one cohesive force. But on the other hand, you know, you've got... Um, I think how it would be is, like, Honey Lemon could probably destabilize Sandman's, de you know, Sandman's body. Um, but then you have Mysterio, who's also a master chemist. A lot of people forget that, you know, oh, he's a master of illusions. Yeah, he's also a master chemist, too. So I think he would figure out Honey Lemon's, like... Uh, period, uh, how she uses her purse and what kind of variations it has and kind of count, found a way to counter it. Um, Gogo is also very headstrong and I think um, I think that would be another thing that the, the, the six would the sinister six would use against them. Um, another thing is that obviously Octavius as brilliant as he is would probably come up with some kind of you know he would probably figure out their weaponry real fast. Um, and you've even got Vulture, who a lot of people forget is really intelligent in his own right. And I think, he, yeah, there's they don't really have, aside from Baymax, they don't really have a... Uh, he's the only real one who can really fly. They all kind of have to hang on to Baymax as he flies. So if you take out Baymax, then you've taken out their air, air superiority, and you've got, you know, Vulture still in the sky. Plus, you've also got Mysterio, who kind of sometimes has like a flying Nimbus thing around him to allow him to fly. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, pretty, this would be a pretty tough matchup, um, really. Um, so I think it's going to come down to experience and to who, who, which team is going to communicate better with each other. So you guys tell me in the comments below, uh, who do you think would come out on top in this matchup? Um, if you think Big Hero 6 would win, put hashtag Big Hero wins. Or if you think the Sinister 6 wins, put hashtag Sinister 6 wins. Really curious to see what you guys have to come up with this fight, because this is a one that's been kind of racking around in my head, and I was just curious to see what would happen. So, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.